Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty relieving, but um, you know, I'll be happy to go anywhere in the draft. You know, just to get drafted is an honor in itself, but to uh, you know make the first round it makes it that much better. So you know, I'm just happy. You and uh, Kevin Hayes were like one one A all year, competing for the you know top spot in New England. What, what is, what's it feel like now? It's over. You're both first rounders and pretty close. To it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we always compete against each other, you know, win the rankings and stuff, but, uh, you know, obviously friendly, but, uh, you know, we're good friends, and, you know, that, that was our goal together, to be in the first round together, and, you know, that's what happened, so it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, that's what we were texting each other back and forth there, going, you know, that will be nice, but, uh, you know, I'm happy with San Jose, and, you know, I can't wait. Did San Jose give you any inclination that they were interested in you? Did you have good meetings with them beforehand, or was it a feeling that you might end up here? Um, you know, I met them at the Combine, um, and, uh, you know, interview with them there, so, uh, you know, that, that was kind of it, but um, it was kind of a surprise, but, you know, like I said, I'm happy with it, so. Um, yeah, you know, um, you know, but like I said before, it was kind of, you know, a surprise to, to uh, you know, be picked by them. But, you know, I've, I've heard of the local kids before, and um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really honored to be uh, you know, part of this organization. What do you want to tell San Jose fans about you as a player, the style you bring, and what you're going to do if you ever get the opportunity to skate in front of them there at the Shark Tank? Um, you know, I'm a good two-way player, and, uh, you know, I like to battle hard, you know, uh, win battles down low, and, um, you know, I'm say I'm a pretty good passer. I like to make hits and uh, play physical, and uh, you know, in that aspect. So, do you try to model your game off uh, any NHL player currently in the league today? Um, you know, if I have to say one, um, you know, looking back, probably Mike Richards or so. I know mm -hmm. he's kind of on the smaller end, but um, you know, I feel like you know he does everything to to uh, in his power to win and, and compete. And I feel like I have the same abilities as him. So, uh, you know, I say Mike Richards. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about your decision to go to BU? Um, you know, that's that was kind of another dream come true going to BU. I've always wanted to go there my whole life. Um, I'm cousins with uh, Tony Monty, who went there and you know went to the NHL after. So, um, you know, I grew up watching them, and you know they're the first school to talk to me. And um, you know, in my mind, that was the best thing. So, you know, that was kind of dream come true as well. You were a uh, Thunder, and Chris Wagner was Lightning in, in South Shore. Uh, talk about his chances of uh, maybe getting drafted. Or you you hoping to? see him go at some point yeah um you know i i, I, I met uh, chris this year and you know great kid hard hard worker and um you know he had an unbelievable year this year he stepped it up big time and um you know i'm really looking forward to uh, seeing him get drafted tomorrow and you know i'm sure i'm sure he will so uh you know i'm excited for him thank you um you no, know, I've always, you know, obviously dreamed of it, and I've always worked towards it my whole life, and um, you know, doing that. But you know, um, I've always tried to make it a reality, and just kept working towards it, and um, you know, improving my game each year, and and uh, you know, so. The uh, Ivan Halinka, what would that do for your uh, confidence being a part of that and that international competition this year? Was it a good springboard for your? Uh, for your overall success this season? Yeah, it was definitely, um, you know, it was my first time I got to represent the U.S. in a tournament, and so uh, it was nice playing with those kids, and, you know, it was, it was good competition out there, playing against, you know, top kids from Canada and, you know, Sweden and, and uh, you know, all those teams, so um, it was a good experience for me, and, uh, and I really learned from it. Well, how did the EJ dif differ from what you experienced as a player at the prep level the year before? Um, you know, it's definitely a step up, and uh, that's what I wanted. Um, I thought that was the next step for me to go and try to get into BU, and um, you know there were a lot of older kids, stronger kids in that league, and um, I thought I needed to uh, join that league to better myself and um, you know to get to this point and get to BU next year.